ambassador. And you will learn a little bit more about that. I'm also uh, what's known as a, a soul healer. So that's a little bit about me. And Stacy, would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Dr. Stacy Drew, and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist. Uh, I work in school-based OT and in private practice. And I am also a Love, Peace, Harmony field representative. We're so excited that you're, you're here with us today and uh, what we have to present for you. So Susan and I are part of a global committee of talented and passionate individuals um, with a focus of serving children, youth, and families with creative love, peace, and harmony projects. And we're very grateful to have a global presence. Our committee spans from the United States to Canada and to Europe and more. So um, it's very an exciting time for us. Mm -hmm. As uh, Stacy said, we have people from all over the world. So we started forming in, in 2020 because there were people who had a passion for serving children, youth, and families in schools, in early childhood programs, in family resource programs, who really understood the power and significance of uh, what you're going to learn a little bit more with regards to the Love, Peace, Harmony song and movement meditations. And so we came together so that we could uh, develop a strategy to serve more children, youth, and families with Love, Peace, Harmony, and also to continue the research that has started uh, and the incredible impact it has. So as Stacy said, we have regional groups. We also have groups in Australia and Hawaii. We actually have groups all around the world, which is very exciting. And we do a lot of support globally through a variety of different forums. We have regional gatherings and we have a Facebook page as well as a website. Uh, we support children, youth and families, teachers and educators at all level. I know throughout the workshop, there's been a focus on from the kindergarten level through college. And our program is accessible to everyone to all educators. Um, we also support volunteers and anyone who's passionate about serving children um, can be a daycare center or after school program or an after um, or a community center based program. Mm -hmm. So what is this Love, Peace, Harmony song that we've been talking about? So Love, Peace, Harmony uh, was uh, and is the first song that was received by one of our teachers, Dr. and Master Jigong Shaw, on September 10th in 2005 in the Muir Woods in California. So he was there with some of his students and one of his students said, Dr. Master Shaw, could you ask Source for a song for us? And he said, yes, of course. And so he asked Source for a song and he had this beautiful song that came through him. And then he asked for the words for that song, uh, which, was, which was then give it, given to him right afterwards. So it is this first soul, uh, divine soul song of what's called the soul light era that we are in now. As many of you know, the children that we are educating and the children that are being born now are very in tune, they're very intuitive. They have a lot of knowing and that's because they are here to support what's called the soul light era. And it is a song that can, can and does transform and bless humanity. It carries a very high and positive divine frequency and vibration of forgiveness, of compassion, of love and light and more. And it transforms the classroom learning environment and has the potential to increase student success. And you'll see that when we present some of the videos and some of the research for you. 
This is Muir Woods uh, in California. It happens to be 10 minutes from my home. Uh, this is where um, Dr. and Master Shah received the lyrics to the song. And um, each line in the song has significant meaning. So I'm going to go over that with you now. Um, I love my heart and soul is a simple and practical tool for self-healing. It carries divine frequency and light and can remove blockages in any area of your life. I love all humanity is a practical tool to offer service to others, to provide good service, which includes a forgiveness, peace, healing, blessing, harmony, and enlightenment. To join hearts and souls together means to join together to produce a more harmonized world and society. It's also the alignment of the soul, heart, mind, and body of everyone and everything. It's a oneness treasure. So when we sing this line, we're actually joining together as one. And um, it also brought me back to this workshop. Um, the focus of this workshop is wholeness in education and hope in education. And this is a oneness treasure, a wholeness treasure uh, that aligns with um, the focus of this workshop and also the spirit of education, the soul of education. And the final lyric is a love, peace, and harmony. And this is the message that we want to bring into the classroom so completely and fully. Um, it is the ultimate goal of this song, and um, Dr. and Master Shah was recognized for this song and creating world peace with it. Um, so there is a whole movement around this song in creating peace in the world and, um, and allowing children to realize this dream through the song. So our goal is, as Stacy was saying, to bring educators, to bring early child educators, to bring families, to bring everybody together so that we can bring more love, more peace, more harmony into our schools, into our communities, into our homes, everywhere where there are, or everybody, this is our focus for children, youth, and families today. So we have global events. We have, as I said earlier, Facebook page and website. We are developing resource activities and projects that we've brought to schools. We have a lot of different art, song, music, movement, meditation, and environmental uh, activities and programs that we do that supports bringing love, peace, harmony. We have curriculum and lesson plan development. And we have, as I said, lots of activities and projects that are based in love, peace and harmony. And we, we are bringing that to people globally so that we can extend, extend this love, peace, harmony field and increase the frequency and vibration in our schools and communities. So um, now I'm going to give a little background about Dr. and Master Shock. You may be wondering who he is. Um, he is um, a spiritual healer, teacher, and leader, and he has been my teacher since 2008. He combines Western medicine as an MD, and he's also a traditional Chinese medicine acupuncturist. He's an expert on breakthrough research on health and wellness. And um, I'm actually working as a research coordinator for some of his research. Um, two of the tools um, that he created are the main tools that we utilize with the Love Peace Harmony song and the Love Peace Harmony calligraphy field. And these tools are integrated into almost everything that we do. Um, he co-created Tao Science, which is unifying science and spirituality. So um, he explains the Love, Peace, Harmony song through Tao Science as positive information, as a positive field and frequency 
And when we add that positive field and frequency, then we're able to transform the classroom into more student success. So that's, um, Dow Science is important in explaining this background theory. He's also the creator of a very unique form of calligraphy that supports well being and healing. And we'll be going into that a little bit more later in the presentation. So, Dr. Master Ji Gong Sha is an 11 time New Year's best selling author. And Stacy was talking about Dow Science. So he, one of his books is Dow Science. Another is Soul Wisdom. Another is Divine Soul Songs. You can see that there's a lot of mention of the soul here. It's because we talk about the power and significance of how love, peace, and harmony can uh, transform negative messages to positive messages. He is the Qigong Master of the Year at the Fifth World Congress in Qigong in 2002. He also won the Martin Luther King Jr. Commemorative Commission Award for Promoting World Peace in 2006. And he also won uh, the International Tara Award for being a person who acts like a bodhisattva, doing good for society in 2017. And these are only a few of his awards that he's won. We wanted to let you know that he has been recognized globally for the work that he's done for Love, Peace and Harmony. And now um, what I'd like to do is to take you through a short Love, Peace, Harmony song meditation so that you can experience the frequency and vibration yourself. And um, yesterday during one of our discussions, um, there was the mention of as educators, the importance of taking care of ourselves, of nurturing ourselves and, and nourishing ourselves. So this is an opportunity to receive that nourishment as we enter into another stressful year um, and managing the COVID and our students and providing them with support. Um, the only way we can do that is by being healthy, happy, and strong ourselves so that we can bring that to our students and that connection point to our students. So for this meditation, we will use four power techniques. And this is the meditation technique that Dr. and Master Shah teaches for all of his uh, soul healing meditations. And we will complete this meditation using those four powers. So um, you can please sit up straight in your chair with your spine in a line. You can place one hand on your heart and one hand on your lower abdomen. This is our body power. Body power is where you place your hands is where you receive the healing. For soul power, we're going to say hello to the Love, Peace, Harmony song and make a request. So dear the Love, Peace, Harmony song, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please bless my request. I'm going to ask to decrease stress. So that's my request for today. That's an example. And for mind power, we will use creative visualization we will visualize a golden light bulb rotating in our lower abdomen. And for sound power, we are going to listen to one round of the Love, Peace, Harmony song. So please close your eyes and connect with the Love, Peace, Harmony song. And Susan, I can't hear yours, so I'm going to see if I can get mine to okay. come. I might be able to pull it up. Here we go. So 
relax and listen. Love, peace, and harmony. Take a breath in and exhale out. And place your hands in your lap. Slowly open your eyes. And notice any shifts or changes from listening to the Love, Peace, Harmony song. And notice how you're feeling. Would anyone like to share their experience with the song? Um, I just have a funny thing to share. So I have mm. my dog and I'm also taking care of a friend's dog. And when the song started, they both came in the room and laid down. Oh, and then when great. it ended, they left. And uh, myself, I feel much more like focused and calm <laughs> and, um, uh, and peaceful. So that was kind of funny that the animals in my house were also responding. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> this happens a lot, Jen. 
when when mm -hmm. when I'm doing the meditations that the animals will come and they will because they're sentient beings and they feel it as well. So yes, it's it can not only impact our students, it can impact our our, mm -hmm. our beloved animals as well. Okay, so and that's uh, so only now... what that was only a few minutes. Mm -hmm. So imagine what it can do in your classroom. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. Okay, we're, we'll go on to the next slide. So here are a couple of testimonials with regards to the Love Peace Harmony song. The first one's from a teacher in New York, a high school teacher. And uh, sorry, I know it's a little small. I'll, I'll pick out the essence of it. And they say that playing the song has made a difference in the workplace. Some of the coworkers have come into their classroom and said, I, it feels good in here. It feels really happy. And my classroom has become the place to be. That teachers and staff stop by my room to get advice, tips, or just hang out and get extra support. People think I have it together and always ask what I'm doing so they can do it in their classroom with their students. One of my students who has autism said that she feels comfortable in my classroom. And for those of you that work with students with extra support needs, you know how important that is. And of course it made their day and their students don't wanna go home at the end of the day because of that positive frequency and vibration that's in the classroom. The next one is from Helen, who's a teacher in Toronto. And uh, she was actually just a couple of days ago asked to do some curriculum for the Toronto District School Board, which is very exciting. And she's a music teacher. And so with COVID, what she had been doing is providing Love, Peace, Harmony to the different classrooms. And she put out a message asking teachers if they wanted her to come and play Love, Peace, Harmony. And she had so many requests, she didn't have enough days to be able to, to support that. So this is, this is her uh, testimonial. Uh, with, so she said that she first introduced Love Peace Harmony to her choir in, tw in January 2020, then later to the rest of the school. And word quickly spread as the teachers are always looking for creative ideas to use in their classrooms, especially with the increase in virtual learning. And so through a teacher's forum, she get, began working with different teachers ranging from kindergarten through to grade eight. It didn't matter what it was because it spreads through all the different curriculum, which is absolutely wonderful. And so it helps students be more in touch with their emotions, helps with self-regulation. We'll talk about that later, how they're feeling and how they can quickly change how they feel. This is a powerful skill set, as we all know and tool that can be used to help them in all aspects of their life. And at 11, 11 each morning, her students make a wish as they send love, peace and harmony to themselves, to their friends, their family, and to everyone and everything around the world. And she asks students to make a wish and explains that miracles can happen if they believe. And uh, she has experienced some of that. So it's a wonderful thing that she's experiencing and she's one of the people who will um, we're hoping to be able to do more research with as well. So now we're going to review the, the second tool, the second Love, Peace, Harmony tool for educators and for the classroom setting and for students. It is the Love, Peace, Harmony field. It is a calligraphy field. It carries the frequency and vibration of love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. It is created with special Tao source calligraphies of love, peace, and harmony. So there's one calligraphy that means love, there's one calligraphy that means peace, and there's one calligraphy that means harmony. The calligraphy is a self-healing art. It's an art form and it's a healing form. It's both. And the song is a self-healing music as you just experienced. 
And both carry positive messages that can create positive transformation in our lives. So with the Love, Peace, Harmony calligraphy field, what happens often is that people experience a greater sense of peace, of calm and relaxation. They feel a greater sense of harmony and balanced emotions. They connect with the frequency and vibration of love. And one of the one sentence secrets that we talk about is that love melts all blockages and transforms all life. And if you think about it, when we feel love, all the things that you know, we come in with melts away. And so it makes a lot of sense. And so learning to trace the Tao calligraphy meditation for any aspect of your life whether it's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, relationships, finances, and more, really supports that transformation, really helps to clear blockages. So students can uh, be more successful in, in all areas of school. And it is a one-stroke calligraphy. So it's a oneness writing, as we talked about before. And it, it also is an opportunity for movement. Um, I noticed we have a PE teacher here. So, um, and I'm an occupational therapist and I, I frequently use movement with the song and the calligraphies so that children can just automatically move with the tracing the calligraphies and when the song is playing. So it, it can be a quiet meditation, a still meditation, but it can also be a movement meditation. Mm -hmm. And we want to do both because we want to have that yin yang balance. So we're going to experience the love, peace, harmony, calligraphy field meditation. And we're going to use, um, as Stacy was talking about earlier, the four power techniques. Now we're going to add a five power and the five power is the tracing of the calligraphy. So you can do it one of two ways. One is to put all of your fingers together because every, each finger in, in uh, traditional Chinese medicine it is part of the five elements and also represent the different parts of our bodies. So when we put them together, it brings oneness, it brings alignment. So when we trace, it traces for all of our aspects of our, our body. Our, our emotional health, our mental health, every, every aspect, our physical health, all of it. The other part is what we call a Tai Chi movement. So you can actually stand up and I'll just stand up here for a sec. And you can actually move with the calligraphy as Tracy was saying, as a Tai Chi movement. Today we'll do the, the fingers and uh, we'd love to teach you more about the other as well. And so we're going to trace the Love, Peace, Harmony calligraphy field. And similar to the meditation, to we can ask for the Love, Peace, Harmony calligraphies to, um, to support us in some ways. So we can begin again with one hand on our heart, one hand in our lower abdomen, and to ask, say, dear, the Love, Peace, Harmony calligraphies. We are so grateful to be of service and for you to serve. Please, and then you can make a request. And I'm gonna make a request for um, supporting ease in my move because we're moving this weekend. So that's what I'm going to be asking for. And with the calligraphies, the love is the one that is on your far right. The middle is peace and the one on your far left is harmony. And Stacy, as we trace, is going to uh, do the cursor so that you can see how it actually flows. And Tracy, are you able to put the music on? Because I, I think that it's not gonna yes. work again with me, but I can, let me try. Thank you. 
me, I, I felt the um, calmness and the stillness coming to me, which was, which is nice because we have a lot going on this weekend with the conference and having to move. So I was very grateful for that. Thank you. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed the calligraphy field meditation and that you were able to get the splash of love and light from the calligraphies. It actually carries a very high frequency and vibration for health and wellness. So any time that you can be in the calligraphy field, the love, peace, harmony calligraphy field, you're receiving that love and light. So um, now we're going to present um, one of the Love, Peace, Harmony programs that has been implemented in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it's very exciting and it's unique how it transformed this uh, after school community program. Um, Claudia Thompson is one of um, Dr. and Master Shaw's certified Dow Academy teachers and the Love, Peace, Harmony uh, coordinator. So um, she went to this school with just the Love, Peace, Harmony song. 
And over six years, she has transformed the entire community center into a Love, Peace, Harmony community center with a Love, Peace, Harmony sensory room, uh, Love, Peace, Harmony calligraphies in each classroom, and a Love, Peace, Harmony garden. All of the children uh, listen to the song and learn how to trace the Love, Peace, Harmony calligraphy field. And um, you'll see some of the students in the video that we're going to show, the Love, Peace, Harmony inclusion and diversity experience. So I will play this. Um, Susan, if you could just give me a thumbs up when I turn it on, if the volume is oh, okay. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I'm here today to share some information about this exciting new project. Louder. It is the APEC Love, Peace, and Harmony Inclusion and Diversity Experience. The vision for this. It'll just turn off for one second and then I'll turn it back on. Hold on. Move this over. And while she's saying that, as she was talking about with the calligraphies, they. Uh, the students really feel a lot of, of peace. They feel grounded, they feel happier and healthier, and it has a, a really powerful impact in the classrooms for their success. This project is to provide an indoor and outdoor love, peace and harmony environment accessible to all ages and all abilities. These spaces will promote the acceptance of universal truth through connecting multi-generations, multi-capabilities, and multicultural communities. Our target audience is our art autistic children, senior citizens, and all families and people in need. My heart and soul, I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls Love, Peace, and Harmony for me. I teach the Exceptional Students in our Summer Expo, which is my first time working with special needs. I have a couple of children that have severe emotional and behavioral issues. And with the help of Miss Claudia, of course, we've both been able to break barriers that otherwise might not have been broken or even looked at just because of who we are. So Love, Peace, and Harmony has really made my classroom a subtle classroom. I play it first thing in the morning. The children just kind of meditate and get ready for the day. But today especially, one of the students was off a little. And once we did our Love, Peace, and Harmony and sung our love song, she opened up. She smiled. She was more engaging. She kind of like broke out of her shell. So it's good for me. kindergarten students and we had the experience to do love peace and harmony today and i definitely felt the shift it I, I was having a bad day at first but once i talked with claudia and she just calmed down with us it was a definitely a shift and i really appreciate her so much can't wait till she come back There's a critical need in this particular community because there's nothing within about a 20 mile radius of where we currently sit that has any services at all for our autistic community. So it's vital for us to be able to provide something here in the heart of the city of Atlanta uh, that's accessible to working families um, with these children 
with exceptional characteristics, and our autistic community is just not being served at all. That he gave love to him, and he needs to give love to him. Even people in the world, even your family, and they need and they need love in their heart, and they're all love and their peace and the harmony in God created us so we have to be very nice to everybody and get our heart and our heart tells stuff to us that we should do. We should be nice to other people and we should be good to our family. So that just gives an overview of the uh, APEC program and the transformation that happens there and the impact that it had on the students and the staff. So the next video we're going to watch is a school in Hawaii where uh, you will see the principal explaining the changes that he has experienced at his school where it's reduced behavioral concerns and increased student success. And we'll go right to the video. Yeah, so we're, um, we're about seven minutes until the end of our presentation. So um, we'll review this video and then probably close. Okay, thank you. And this is Dr. Day, the students walk up the staircase to class, yes. and you cannot be mad or sad. <laughs> the power of the hallway, <laughs> the hallway of love, peace, and harmony ties into our rooms of be kind, be respectful, be responsible. Yeah, and that harmony brings the family and the school together so that we can provide that umbrella of support to surround each student. Well, all the students go up to one area to do calligraphy so that they get the greatest love peace, harmony. Last year we had 50 behavior referrals. This year we have five. So, a lot of so Patrick, Elena, Cecilia, Mr. Wong, Yannin, Hardy all come throughout the year. Especially in the beginning of the year, we took time to get the hallway ready. All the kids go up the hallway. All the kids go up the hallway and they get those messages, subliminal messages over time. Five years old, yes. all the way up to 11. Oh. So every student here gets it, the smallest kid to the biggest kid. Oh, okay. and they From get five it. year five to year 11. Huh? Correct. How about the student respond? How do the students respond? Oh, for the previous year. Oh, they love it. Okay. They love it. But it also ties into art. Talks, ties into meditation, calm the mind, they do chanting, they do trace with the body. So I think everything kind of comes together. They love, they see initially it's a, they like art. Yes. Kids like to do in the paper, they do it with the water and then it disappears. Then they do it again, right? Yeah, so yeah, I think yeah. they love to do that. Yeah. So with their schedule, they're so grateful for their partnership that they come once a month and they do this. Every kid gets it. 12 times a year. So I think over time, you know, the calmness, calm of the mind, helps them to reflect, helps them to calm down. And then the message, kind, caring, greatest love, harmony, peace, all of these things kids start to internalize because not all kids have really good lives at home. So maybe that's an opportunity, no matter how long it is, maybe it's a peaceful time. Yes. And they may go home to craziness, yes. but they can remember that. And then maybe it can help them be better kids and ultimately better adults. It'd be great for kids to have this exposure and if they can work it in their schedule. I mean, it's definitely something that all kids can benefit from. And then the extension of the kids is even the adults, because sometimes the adults are so stressed out with the needs of the day and the month and the year. There's so many stressors on people that this kind of
helps you calm the mind and helps you make everything better. So I believe our school culture is better, our climate, our kids. I mean, to me, this place is Disneyland. Our kids are happy all the time. And I think it just, it permeates. And if you walk on our campus, you kind of feel, it's a different feeling. Yeah, thank you. So. Exactly. The Caribbean faith create a positive feel. Love and light, love, peace, harmony, kindness, and more. So this is a message effect. And they go home, they share with the family members. So this is to create a positive energy right. feel. So they have a special room, air conditioning. We even give air conditioning. Yeah. Wow. Kids work on a table, they lay the mats, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the kids do the work. Uh, yeah, thank yeah. you so much for that support. So, I mean, it's a special place that we created for them to have the opportunity. There's not a lot of stuff all over the place. It's a clean place, and they come in and they do this type of work. Thank you so much. So to start in kindergarten, it'd be an amazing case study to see what happens to these kids from five. How, what happens when they're 30 years old? What type of people are they? They have this type of experience and exposure. Yeah. I would think that is very positive. Thank you. So you saw there where they were doing the like the Tai Chi movement as well, and the the incredible impact. So here are some some more testimonials. I've learned to give love the things you are struggling with. Love means to like someone. Peace means to meditate and forgive. Love, peace, harmony is like a pathway for me because it makes me meditate and find my happy place. And as a teacher of children with special needs, I've had great experiences with the Love, Peace, Harmony song to get children to calm. One day the children entered my classroom very excited and they were fighting. I chanted love, peace, harmony with them and the whole atmosphere changed. The children got calm and peaceful. I am so grateful for this tool. Um, I know we only have a couple of minutes left. Um, so I'm just gonna go to our resources page so that we can review maybe just a couple of the resources and then um, if anyone has a question, there is information on a research study that was completed. So you can review that with the PowerPoint. But our goal is to contribute to the efficacy of um, the Love, Peace, Harmony programs that we are creating. Um, so we have things that we call a Zen Den, which is, is a place in the classroom where uh, the students can go to chill and to listen to Love, Peace, Harmony. We also have uh, a coaching program that uh, is a Love, Peace, Harmony coaching program with Kids Coaching Connection, which, which I run. And here are some of the resources. Yeah, so what I would recommend is uh, going to the Love, Peace, Harmony app, uh, which you can download on your phone for free. Um, uh, one of the... Um, members of the panel had said that he gave his students an assignment to complete a, a mindfulness activity every day for 30 days. So my recommendation would be to listen to the Love, Peace, Harmony song every day for five or 10 minutes, and also try it in your classroom or with your students playing it in the morning for five or 10 minutes on low. I actually put it very low and my students come into my classroom and listen to the song. Um, but I would first recommend getting a taste of it yourself and seeing what happens after that 30 days. So um, that would be a, a nice way to experience know. it more fully. Um, so you'll get a copy of this PowerPoint so you can review more of it. I'm sorry we weren't able to cover everything, but, um, and I, we might be, uh, we have one minute. I don't know if some, anyone has a question. We'd be happy to answer it. We would love to 